everyone. Uh, myself, Professor H.D. Patil from uh, Bhimrabai Savant College of Engineering and Research Nare Pune from Civil Engineering Department. Uh, today, we will discuss two important terms of uh, quantity serving contracts and tender subject of BECV. First term is item of work and second term is unit of measurement. So, these two terms are very important while doing or carrying out uh, quantity serving or uh, while doing uh, estimation. So, first term is item of work. What is mean by item of work? Atom of work is a uh, small component parts of the structures having same specification. So, if you consider one RCC building, that RCC building will be divided into smaller component parts having same specification. So, if you go on the side, you will first start with the excavation. So, excavation, excavation it is a item of work. Then after excavation, you will do uh, footing or PCC. That PCC is second item of work. After the PCC, you will carry out construction or construction of footing. The footing, RCC footing concrete is your third atom of work. So likewise, you need to calculate quantities of each atom of work. After calculating quantities of each atom of work, you will simply multiply that each atom of work by its cost. Then you will get total cost of construction for that particular structure. So if you consider first atom of work, generally first atom of work for any structure it is excavation. Then excavation after excavation, it is concrete in foundation, solely. Likewise, these are different items of work having same specification. These are some uh, items of work: flooring, roofing, plastering and pointing, cornice, pillars, doors and windows, woodwork, ironwork, whitewashing, paint. So first term you have understood that is mean by atom of work. Second term is unit of measurement. So each item of work has some specified unit of measurement. So that unit of measurement is having some principle, means to which item of work, what unit of measurement you have to use. So this principle of item of work is like this. For mass, voluminous and thin work, thick work, unit of measurement is cubic units. So to have a cubic units, you, need, you require length, breadth, then height or depth. So by multiplying length, breadth and height, you will get cubic units. So these cubic units are only used for mass, voluminous, voluminous and thick works. Second principle is shallow, thin and surface work. For shallow, thin surface work, unit of measurement is square units. Square units are calculated by length and breadth. Then long and thin work, for long and thin work, unit of measurement is linear or running unit. So linear and running unit, you have to just take a linear measurement. For piece of work and job work, unit of measurement is numbers. Okay, so this is a principle of principle of unit of measurement. So if you do not recall any unit of measurement for particular atom of work, you can simply remember these principles. So first we will see example. This is excavation. Excavation it is a voluminous work. So for unit of measurement for excavation, it is a meter cube. So you will require only length, breadth and depth of excavation. So this is the excavation and for excavation unit of measurement is meter cube. Second is, this is flooring. Flooring is a thin one. So for this flooring unit of measurement is meter square. You will simply require length and breadth. Then third one is, this is called as, this is called as skirting. For skirting unit of measurement is running meter. Okay. I hope you are, you have understood these uh, basic two terms item of work and unit of measurement thank you